Gentlemen, welcome back to the Healing Bench. Uh, today, things have taken a turn for the nautical, I'm afraid. So I'm working on... I've always, let me preface this by saying I've always had a fascination with boats and marine engineering and whatever. So I've taken some, uh, some woodworking. And I would hesitate to use the word skill, but some of my woodworking skills... And, uh, I'm slowly whittling down pieces of free discarded maple flooring that I found on the Kijijis. And I'm turning them into this. Although it's not a 30 inch. It's about a 17 inch version, so kind of a pocket size model. Um, the Remora little cabin cruiser boat originally intended for radio control use um, for gas or nitro powered engine radio control use I'm not going to do that that's not my plan um, but I want to get it roughly to the size of this blueprint here and uh, that's what I've been working on but here's a here's an interesting little two interesting tips for working in small scale wood stuff like this First one, tape is an awesome wood clamp or gluing clamp for small, like lower, lower power clamping needs, because it fits just about everything, so on and so forth. So I'm clamping these chine, these chines, I think they're called, into the frames. And there's a notch here in the corner. You should be cured enough overnight to show you. And there's a notch in the corner of the frame where the chine sits. And those, uh, you know, it's really easy to just take some tape and clamp up over here. There's a gap there, I know. That's because I'm an amateur. But uh, tape up over here. Kind of make sure it's in place. Just let her sit. This is a time when using that high tack, high initial tack glue that I mistakenly used for my bench gluing uh, is actually a benefit because it does tack up quickly and tends to help. So there's your first kind of tip, doing small glues like that. Don't be afraid to use tape. Um, I've used tape making little small miter boxes and stuff. You lay the tape out, put all your miter sections on, mitered sides on, and then basically just roll it up into box shape and tape across. Works awesome. So highly recommend some painter's tape. Cool. Second tip, interesting tip. As uh, you may note that there's a wee drill bit through the uh, the stem of the ship here. And that's because I thought, you know, these, I believe they're called aprons, uh, need to be kind of torqued into place. That's not a hull line per se. It is and it isn't. But anyway, it's ugly because I don't know what I'm doing. But they need to go in here and bend up towards the front. And I thought, how the heck am I going to glue that? without holding it and clamping it somehow and these are thin and it's everything's a funny shape so I thought I know I get it to fit so that they fit pretty good against this way and then they just need to be held from springing back so I thought about a clamp or whatever but again fiddly shapes and stuff so I thought I can fix that and I just fired a sixteenth drill bit through it and then unscrewed the drill and left it there. And now we will find out if that's going to uh, going to come free or not. I'm as curious as you aren't. So worst case Ontario is that you just snip this off and leave it in there. But yeah, there we go. There, one clamp holding pin whatever. And this is all very internal to the boat structure, so I, I deemed that that didn't matter. Uh, but again, I'm not giving any boat building tips, because I have no clue what I'm doing. 
not the faintest idea. But uh, that's some interesting ideas for small workpiece clamping, even under some considerable tension here. And also, it's a fun thing to try to make out of wood flooring. So, you know, you'll see an update maybe someday if this doesn't just turn into firewood. Thanks for watching. Cheers.